Dennis, Dennis, stop it. Dennis, stop this now. Dennis, 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 stop this. Cecil, Cecil, where's the bell? Where's the bell, Cecil, where's the bell? Dennis, stop this now, Dennis. Where is, oh, right. Dennis, stop, stop, Cecil, you ring the bell. Ring the bell, Cecil, ring the bell, Dennis, stop, stop. Dennis, 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 Dennis. It's all right, Dennis, it's all right. Keep ringing, Cecil, keep ringing. It's all right, Dennis, it's all right, Dennis. It's all right, it's all right now. It's all right, Dennis, it's all right. See, the bell's ringing now, Dennis. The bell's ringing. The bell's ringing. Oh, stop ringing the bell now, please. Cecil. Cecil, stop ringing the bell. Cecil, Cecil. Thank you, Cecil. Cecil, you've done very, very well. But don't ring the bell again, please. Cecil. Thank you. Thank you. Cecil, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry you had to see that as well. It's Dennis. Well, when he knows a story is coming up, he gets very, very, very agitated. He can't help it. He just needs to dance. And that's why Cecil has to ring the bell. Because when the bell rings, the story begins. Now, Cecil, would you like to have a story? Good. My dear friend, come with me. It's good to see you again. I hope that you're doing well since the last time we saw you. Now then, Cecil. Look, the reason why Dennis is like that is because he was made like that. When a person makes something, their personality goes into the thing they make. So it's very important to make something well. Now, would you like to hear a story? Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a story about making things, having the right materials, and making things that are good. My dear Cecil, once upon a time, there was a mum, and the mum was crying. She was over the sink, and the salty tears dripped off her cheek into the water. Plop, plop, plop. And she was crying because she lived in a very small house, and she had three growing boys, and those boys were growing so big, they couldn't fit into the house anymore. So she called her boys down. She took off her apron. Well, she had a curly tail because, Cecil, she was a pig. And her boys were pigs. She called up, boys, boys, stop jumping on those beds. Boys, come downstairs now. I want to talk to you. The boys came downstairs and they sat on the carpet, arms folded, legs crossed, and looked at their mum. And their mum said, Oh, boys, I'm so sorry, but you have to leave the house now because the house is not big enough for three growing boys. But don't worry, don't be sad. I'm going to give you some money. And with that money, you must buy bricks. So she looked in her purse and the first boy came along and mum gave the first boy 50 pounds and gave it to the first boy and the first boy took the money and he was so excited he said, whoa, 50 quid, 50 quid. And then the second boy came over, mum took another 50 pounds and gave it to the second boy and the second boy said oh thanks mom thanks mom thanks mom thanks mom whoa 50 quid 50 quid and then mom gave money to the third little pig 
There you are, my dear. Oh, thank you, Mummy. Whoa, 50 quid, 50 quid. Well, the three boys left the house. They were going to buy some bricks to build their house. And their mum wiped her tear and waved her handkerchief. But the boys didn't look back because the boys were all ready, walking down the road saying, Whoa, 50 quid, 50 quid. Well, Cecil, the first boy, he came to a sweet shop and he said, Whoa, 50 quid. Whoa, sweet shop. It's got sweets in it. He went up to the window of the sweet shop. Oh, look at all the sweets in the window of the sweet shop. He opened the door. Ding. The bell rang. And he looked around and the sweet shop smelled of candy and newspapers. And the man was there. And the man came up and the man said, All right, little piggy, now what you want in my sweet shop? And the pig said, Um, 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 I just want to buy one sweet, that's all for one penny, that's all just one sweet for one penny, but I don't know which one to buy. And he looked around and he said, Um, can I have that one? No, no, not that one, no, no. Can I have that one? No, 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 not that one. Can I have that? No, no, I don't like that, no. Oh, can I have that one? And that one. That's all. And, and that one. Just, just, just those three. And, and that one. And that one. And that one. A box of those. A jar of those. A, a whole bag of those. Can I have a bar of those? Can I have a bag of those? And those and those and those and those. And those, and those, and those, and those, and those. Well, that boy pointed to so many sweets that when the shopkeeper put them all in a bag and added them up on his till, he said, Right, little pig, that load of sweets is going to cost you 50 quid. Well, that's all the money the boy had. And he gave the money to the shopkeeper. And he cried a little bit because he couldn't afford any bricks. And he brought out the sweet papers. And he started to eat the sweets. <laughs> I'm still a bit sad. I'm still a bit sad because I haven't got 50 quid to buy. <laughs> and within 20 minutes, that boy had ate all the sweets. Where was he going to live? So he decided to get all the sweet papers, lick them and stick them together. And he made a tent of sweet papers. And he crawled into the tent and he went to sleep smelling of candy. Now the second brother, he went past the sweet shop. <laughs> He said, whoa, 50 quid, ooh, sweet shop, but I'm not going to go in the sweet shop. It's bad to go in the sweet shop. Whoa, 50 quid. And then he went past a clothes shop. Whoa, clothes shop. And all the clothes have got names on them, names on the clothes. My dear friends, if you see clothes with names on them, they're just the same as normal clothes, except they're three times more expensive. And so he went into the clothes shop. Ding! The man came up to him. The man said, oh, hello, little pig. What do you want? Um, can I have some clothes with names on? You can. But how much money have you got? Um, I've got, I've got 50 quid. And the man said, 50 quid? That's not enough to buy clothes with names on. What have I got here? Uh, oh, oh, look. All I've got for you is a pair of underpants. They've only been worn five times. Nice brown stripe. You can buy those for 50 quid. Whoa! Underpants with names on! <gasps> He gave the man 50 quid and took out the underpants, but he had nowhere to live. So he decided to live in the underpants. He opened them, put them on his head, and he crawled inside the underpants, and he went fast asleep. But the third pig, do you think the third pig was a good pig? He was, yeah, that's right, he was a good pig. 
and he went to the brick shop. And he said to man, um, can I have enough bricks to build a house? Right, well, I suppose you can there, little piggy. How much money have you got? I've got 50 quid. Ah, 50 quid will do you. And do you know what, Cecil? He built a beautiful house. It was a gorgeous house. It was solid, made of bricks, with a lovely roof. And he went inside that house, and he had a cup of tea and a hobnob biscuit, and he put his feet up to the fire. But my dear Cecil, the sky went black. And a cold wind started to blow. And the wolf came over the hill walking. And the wolf stopped. And he looked down. And he said, Hmm, I smell a little piggy. Uh, not only do I smell a little piggy, I smell candy. I smell pig wrapped in candy. Oh, look, over there, there is a tent made of sweet babbles. And he went over the, to, to the tent, and the pig was lying down in the tent. He was lying down fast asleep, and the wolf came up, and the wolf looked at the pig. And the wolf knocked on the sweet papers. Little pig! Little pig! Let me in! Well, the pig looked and the pig said, Not! By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Well, then, said the wolf, I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. And the wolf took an air and then he blew. And the sweet paper tent rose up and went, flew all the way across the river. And that little pig, he ran and he ran. Cecil, are you okay? Cecil, yeah, go around, the, climb up, climb up, climb up. There we go. Hello, Cecil, well done. That was a good climb, well done. And he ran all the way to the underpants house. And he went to the underpants house and he knocked on the underpants door. And the underpants boy said, what is it? I'm asleep. And the little pig said, brother, brother, let me in. The wolf is coming. The wolf is coming. So the underpants boy opened his underpants on his head. <clears throat> quick, quick, get in, get in. <clears throat> and the two brothers stayed together in the underpants. Well, the wolf then came and the wolf said, Leap. Let me in. And the pig said, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. <laughs> well, then, I will huff and I will puff. And I will blow your house down. Are you ready, Cecil? And the wolf went. <laughs> and then he blew. <laughs> oh, well, the underpants went <laughs> off the pig's head and flew across the river. And the two little pigs, they ran and they ran and they ran. They were, Cecil, are you okay? Right, go to the side. Climb up that ladder. Oh, you're very fast at climbing up the ladder. Good, good to see you again. They ran all the way to the brick house. They came up to the door. They knocked on the door. Oh, please, let us in, brother. Let us in. The wolf is coming. The wolf is coming. Well, that brother who built his house of bricks had a good door. He unlocked the door. Chico, chico, chico. Uh, 
quick brothers, come in. You, you hide in the microwave. You, you hide in the video recorder. Then he closed the door. You, and he looked to the, through the flap of the letterbox. And he looked out. See, see. He saw the birds saying, quick, quick, get the children, get them into the nest, quick, quick. The wolf is coming. The wolf is coming. He saw the badger say, quick, get the children into the set. Quick, quick, lock the door. The wolf is coming. The wolf is coming. And then the wolf came. And the wolf saw the brick house. And the wolf said, Lita Pig. Lita Pig. Let me in. And the pig said, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. Well, then, I will hear and I will burn and I will blow your house down. And while well, the wolf took in breath, could you take in breath with me? Are you ready? Here we go. A bird that was flying past got sucked in. A dog walking past got sucked in. Wolf blue. <laughs> no matter how he blew, he could not blow down the house made of brick. So he said, I know what I will do. I will climb up onto the roof. I will go to the chimney. And I will climb down the chimney. But unknown to the wolf, the pig heard all of this because people hear you when you talk to yourself. And so the pig began to light a fire. Give me a match. Thank you. Chuck, chuck. Careful, it's hot. And then the wolf, I will climb up onto the roof. I will climb to the chimney. I will climb into the chimney. And he climbed in there. Yes, I will go down and eat all the little bits. Ah, I smell. I smell smoke. I smell burning. I smell here burning. <laughs> it's my tail. It's burning. Yeah. <laughs> well, the wolf shot out of the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> and ran home to his mum. <laughs> well, those three brothers, those three little pigs, that night, they all had a, a nice cup of tea and a lovely hobnob biscuit. Well, my dear Cecil, you see what happened. The third pig was told by his mum, you must build your house with bricks. And he said he did what his mum told him to do, didn't he? Because you must always do what your mum tells you to do, Cecil. But that is the end of the story. Did you like the story? Now, Cecil, do you see Dennis? He's not going bananas anymore because he's had a story. And stories can help people who are very, very agitated. Now, don't make too much noise, but you go out your secret way. And when you come back again, I'm sure Dennis is going to be okay. There you go. Oh, Cecil, before you go, say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Cecil. Off you go. Come back again for another story in the Story Emporium Repair Shop. <laughs>